Hey guys, uh, welcome back to PC911. I got here this Dell doing a fresh installation, upgrading the RAM, upgraded the SSD, was on Windows 7, upgraded to Windows 10. Everything is going good except when the driver window the uh, display drivers update screen goes black as you can see only can get video I'm out here out the video port uh, uh, video port out of the VGA port and we got external video and when we go to the devices it's as if this screen doesn't exist even if you go to the displays uh, it's just not even there as no other display so right you know the tech displays there's no other display so first steps of course check your drivers update drivers I went to uh, uh, to Dell they don't really have you know the unit was came in Windows 7 they have drivers for Windows 8 nothing for 10 but typically the the Windows 8 10 uh, the Windows 8 drivers work for 10 but they didn't hear so I did a quick Google search and someone out there or a lot of people out there are having the same problem it looks to be like a BIOS problem so put this in your you know checklist of things to try drivers BIOS uh, especially when you're going from a 7 an old Windows a Windows 7 computer to a Windows 10 you could have some old BIOS that are giving you those issues so hopefully it's gonna be that so we're gonna update the BIOS I'm gonna go first over here to see the BIOS version that I have I'm using my trusty D7 tool if you guys are you know techie out there actually technicians um, you definitely want to try this tool D7 there's a free version out there the old one the legacy version um, it's not really supported but it works super well which I still use that one I got the new license as well but uh, I have my old version so customized and I'm so used to it that even though I have a better new one I'm still using the old one that's uh, how we are just creatures of habit that we keep the old uh, but I mean it works pretty good but yeah I gotta get I gotta get shifted over to the other one uh, so in this main screen it's just gonna tell me here the and I know you can't see that 100%. I'm just talking about it. Uh, where are we at? I got my BIOS is A09 from 2011. So the BIOS version is an Apple 09 from 930 2011. So yeah, man, this computer's old. This computer's in good shape. It has a good, a nice, an i5, but damn, um, it's old. All right, so we know what BIOS we have there. We'll close that out, and then we're gonna go to Dell, take a look at what they got. So yeah, for sure, they got two newer versions: a 2013 and a 2014. A12. All right. So we're going to give that a shot. Keep in mind that when you update your BIOS, you're always going to get these warnings, which is true. Uh, if that goes wrong, you could wind up crashing your computer and it being no good. It's not common. It's happened to me one time, actually. And the funny thing about it is it had never happened. So typically when we do a BIOS update, we're going to call the customer and tell them, you know, we're going to do a BIOS update. Uh, we're not going to assume responsibility if it crashes because, you know, we're going to do our best. But if it crashes, I'm not going to buy them a new computer. Or, I mean, the BIOS could be uh, repaired, but, you know, that's going to be like another $100. Uh, so we just let them, you know, we let them assume it uh, in this case. Otherwise, we just don't proceed. Um, and in this one scenario, you know, it's been years. It never really cried, never had crashed. I just went ahead and, and just went with it. And 
it crashed the computer. I had to get it fixed. I didn't. I didn't have the customer, you know, didn't give him a disclosure. So we wind up having to take care of it. So that's kind of how that goes. This one here, I haven't called the customer either. So I'm not going to call the customer now. It's supposed to be due tomorrow. Kind of fell a little bit behind. So we're just going to go with it. So keep your fingers crossed for me over there on on that side. On your end, right? Now, this updating of the BIOS, different manufacturers have it different ways. Let's see, this is uh, this is just gonna straight up run right from here, I believe. So always go to the manufacturer site. Make sure you got the right unit put in. You know the exact model number, serial number, if possible. Uh, everything to make sure you got the right unit. Um, make sure it's on power. Actually, I think if it's on battery power, it won't even let you do it. So there the message, you know, close everything else that you got going on. And let's go for it. So yeah, this is just going to run straight up. It's an executable file. It's just going to run. So here we go. Let's see. Alright, so it's running there. So we had A9, we're going from A9 to A12, what do we say, 2014, so a few years. So, right, so in the middle of this writing, if it crashes, um, you could have a problem. All right, so there it goes, finished up, it's gonna restart. So hopefully when it restarts, we get video on the other unit. So I got my fingers crossed, so I hope you do too. Yeah, so you see the video coming up on the laptop, but it was doing this before anyways. See the laptop, the, the window would come up and when uh, Windows 10 would start loading, it would just kick 
black so it's actually fixed right so before that you'd get the you'd get the BIOS post then you would get the Windows logo and as it started up it would just uh, quit it will go black no video but the computer was on and you would have external video so so that's what the problem was so if you got an older computer you know something that came with Windows 7 at least right because you're talking almost 10 years you know take a look at your BIOS you can have other issues with the computer not falling asleep or not waking up um, any of those things so now we're good to go all right we still got a little driver down here we got to take a look at but if we go now to our BIOS down here see the new version a 12 date to 18 2014 Intel HD graphics Right, so that is a uh, problem solved for this Del Vostro 3550 video or blacks out, no video after upgrading to uh, Windows 10. And that's what's going on today at PC 911.